Uh, if you've had trouble fitting the vinyl to uh, the windscreen of a TR4, uh, as I did, this is the alternative. This is a moulded set, which is a little bit more expensive, but uh, you'll see that the fitting is, is that much easier. I've released the windscreen from left the rubber behind. As you know, that this part hooks over this part here hooks over this uh, and tucks into there. I'll show you that in a second. First of all, I'm going to fit the uh, bottom edge of the this that is this one. You'll see that that fits over the that fits over those tabs which hold the windscreen down. What I've done now, I've cut some electrical tape, as you can see, and by lapping it over the edge you can see that that is the edge of the vinyl. Uh, this one I've, I've fitted. I've done it in short sections uh, so that um, it can be dealt with easily. You'll see push it in, start in the centre and just ease it over the top. That, that will hold it in. That's holding the vinyl in now and the whole thing will be held in um, the um, you'll see that the uh, rubber for the windscreen when it's put in will fit it and when it's clamped down this will be held in by, uh, the, by the, the rubber of the of the bottom seal. I'll now continue all the way along doing the same thing. Now I've got the, the top one on I've started taping it um, you can see the the end here is is taped on and just a question of uh, pu pushing it in tight bringing it over and holding it in when the when the uh, the top is, is in and the the uh, all the rubbers are in, that will hold it all together. I've just got to do the end parts now, put them in. This is the left hand side. The, I've fitted the, the right hand one is fitted. Um, what you should notice is that uh, the bottom, bottom of this is folded over and the top part is open and when you put it on there will be a slight gap at the top that will probably need trimming, trimming off. Um, this part here again will need to be taped up and uh, held in. I'll show you that in a second. This is the, the end parts now. I've put a spray adhesive on. Uh, the other side has been bonded as well. Uh, add a little bit onto the inside edge of the windscreen. That's it in, but the top edge here you can see is, is slightly too long. It's tucked in right at the bottom. I've just got to pull this part in with the tape and that is all ready to go. And just pull that back in, put that in there and tape that up and that should. Then I'll put a heat gun on onto here and getting ready to put the windscreen in. Uh, I've used a, a vinyl insert on the rather than uh, the uh, stick-on vinyl uh, so that is that is in and all along the top it's ready to go I put a tape around it so I don't hook it off when I put the windscreen in I've used red at the bottom there I decided to change it from black so um, on it will show and I've put the the piece of cord around the inside of the windscreen tucking it right under uh, and a 12 inch overlap at least either end I've put a loop on the end to, to, to pull on and that should, should the overlap should be at the top of the the windscreen um, and if you can see from the inside I've, I've used a piece of masking tape just to to hold the rubber into place uh, on the inside 
I'll place that in and then I'll put the weather strip in before I pull the the uh, screen in as it says in the workshop manual uh, put the put the seal put the, there's there's the old one put the seal in before you actually put it into the pull it into the wind that's the windscreen without the the seal on it just held in um, the cords ready to for pulling and as tight in as I can get it uh, you will need someone to assist to to press press in and you'll see as I press how that closes up so you need the you need that um, I've got it in there in a some hot water to soften it up a bit so I can um, maneuver it and I'll try that now well, there's the windscreen in as per the workshop manual pulling it in and the the uh, chrome strip in popped in um, you can use a little bit of Vaseline if it's uh, if it won't stay but it can it does t if it's too lubricated it does tend to pop out again so it's best to do it dry if you can uh, pull it round the corners uh, I did warm I did warm I did warm this up um, the uh, to make it uh, flow around the corners a little bit easier uh, I put one uh, seal at the bottom TR4 should really have one at the top and one at the bottom as you know uh, and this is the uh, new uh, capping ready to go on um, and modified as per a, a, an earlier uh, video that I made where this uh, the the gap at the top here wasn't enough to tuck the tuck, tuck the hood underneath so this has all been modified this is ready to be all the lines everything lines up but before I do it I've got to put a line of sealer along there to stop the water from coming underneath uh, at high speed because obviously this front edge will carry any any moisture up and try and force it underneath the edge so uh, and come into the car so that's got to be sealed thoroughly and also uh, the, the new rubber that I put in that has to have uh, that has to have a sealant put all the way underneath again specifically on the front edge again to stop the uh, wind from forcing the water into the car there's the the new top for the windscreen all in all the holes the holes line up and the the front edge uh, has lifted enough here to to get the the hood in so I'm happy.